Hello my fashion babes and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be something very very special for me and if you did press on it, it means that you also love Hermes bags a lot. I want to share with you my whole Hermes bags collection and I know you guys have been waiting for this video and you have been requesting it for so long and now I'm very excited to finally be able to show you all the bags that I have purchased until 2022. I want to mention that all of the bags that I have have been bought in an Hermes store. If you are an Hermes lover like myself, you know these bags are extremely, extremely, extremely hard to get. And with time passing, I feel like it's just getting harder and harder to have them. So I'm super, super happy and super grateful that I managed to build this collection. I'm going to show you every single bag in chronological order, starting from the first one. I'm curious which one you guys are gonna like, so let me know in the comments. If you have been following me on YouTube for a very long time, you must definitely remember this setup because this is the setup where I started filming my very, very, very first YouTube videos uh, during the pandemic. And I'm so happy to be filming this video that is so important and so big for me in this very same space. Now, let's start with the first Hermes bag. I have developed a passion for these bags ever since I was 17 years old. And I wanted to have one of these bags so badly. So for my 18th birthday, I told my parents that I really want an Hermes bag. And I was surprised with this beautiful Hermes Birkin in a size 35 in Palladium hardware in the color Mykonos. It's a very special bag because it comes in two colors. There's Mykonos and then inside it's white and also the bottom is white. So this is my very first one and I absolutely love it. It's huge. I've been using it like crazy. You can imagine when I received it, I was so happy. I was wearing it always, every day, all the time. And back in the days, the big bags were trendy. I mean, this is a very big bag, the Birkin 35. It's massive inside. And I have a review on it, so if you're curious to know more about it, you can watch that video. Oh, brings back memories. It is in the Clemence leather. So this Clemence leather is a little bit like the Togo, but is much softer. So unfortunately, it got a little slouchy. I always put something inside of it, but it's still, yeah, got a bit. And I got it with a little twilly as well. I'm not gonna put it on now, but well, yeah, kind of went like this. My second Hermes bag was this amazing Kelly 28 in the Togo leather in the Retourne style. So I talk a lot about the Hermes styles in my other videos. So if you're curious, really check out the playlist Hermes and you have tons of videos over there. This is in the Retourne style in the soft Togo leather. The color is Etain and with gold hardware. I love it. So beautiful. As I said, all of my bags are from the Hermes store and I actually asked the color, the hardware and the size for almost all of my bags. So it didn't come as a surprise. The only surprise was two bags that I got offered. The rest of them, I picked exactly what I wanted. And this, as my first Kelly bag, I didn't know what size I wanted, what color I wanted. I went to so many secondhand stores, I tried so many on, and then I knew. I needed this Etain color, which is a very classic color, and gold hardware, and I found it so beautiful in size 28. Ah, oh, Togo leather, so a little bit harder, not like the Clemence, very slouchy, but beautiful. My third Hermes bag is another Birkin 35. So because I was so obsessed with my first Birkin, I thought, you know what, I need another Birkin. And this one, actually, I got, I got offered this bag. So 
it wasn't planned I was just in the store it was a very long time ago and I got offered this Birkin 35 I couldn't say no obviously <laughs> it is in the color ultraviolet with palladium hardware and I added this cute little twilly to it it is very big as well I have a lot of bubble air wraps inside of it like pillows but something happened to the leather I don't really know what it is as you can see I don't know if it's me like look over here I don't know this is Togo leather so it's a little bit harder than the Clemence let me show you how this one without all this bubble wraps it didn't slouch you see it's less slouchier it kept its shape so this is also in the retourné style I love it after having two Birkin bags I then went back to Kelly and with time passing the small bags started to become trendier and trendier and so my sales associate recommended me that I get a Kelly 25 I was still set on the Kelly 28 but she insisted and she told me listen you're gonna be so happy with the Kelly 25 it's super trendy and you're gonna love it so I said fine so let's put an order in for the Kelly 25 in the color Vert Maquis with palladium hardware as you know or if you don't the Kelly bags also have this strap attached to them this is in the Togo leather it's a green khaki-ish kind of color very cool and I remember I really really wanted palladium hardware because I already had the Kelly 28 in gold so I, I thought okay now I need the silver so that it works with everything and to be honest I've been using this bag so much I really love this Togo leather for me it's just it's perfect it's amazing for every day and now it matches my Hermes khaki new collection sweater after my second Kelly bag I realized my big love is in fact Kelly bags more than Birkins so I thought I was gonna continue my collection set on Kelly bags so here we have a Kelly in a much bigger size this is a Kelly in size 32 so it's much bigger than the other ones that I have also in palladium hardware as well in the Togo leather in the retourné style so this is much bigger but really cool as well as you can see I absolutely I love all of them to be honest I wish you would have more time during the day so you can wear more bags that makes sense and uh, the color is blue nuit it's super beautiful super super nice actually I haven't been wearing this in such a long time you know what maybe it's time to start wearing it again after the beautiful blue nuit Kelly bag I decided I need a her bag so this is the amazing her bag and with palladium hardware super cool I have a video dedicated on this bag because it's really one of the most amazing entry-level Hermes bags and if you do want to start your Hermes collection this is one of the bags that you can purchase is much easily and it's cool Hermes bag number seven surprise surprise another Kelly bag so <laughs> This is a Kelly 25, now I'm going back to small sizes and I was super, super keen on having this specific color. This is the Etube color and it's so perfect and this is in Swift leather. So this is the only bag that is in a different kind of leather and to be honest, I was so scared about the Swift leather at the beginning because it's very, very, very soft but the way it absorbs the color is simply incredible. So if I would have to buy another Swift leather bag of Hermes, I definitely would, just because the color pops so much. To be honest, it doesn't scratch that much. And I also spilled a glass of water on it. Not me, my dad. 
and it looks still very good. I have a video, a video unboxing on all this. So Kelly 25 with gold hardware. Oh, look at the white stitching, how beautiful. Bag number eight is one of my most precious bags because this is something I got invited to do and I got it on my birthday. This is a Kelly 25, but not any Kelly 25. Do you know what this horse stamp means? It means it's a special order. So I got invited to create my own Hermes bag. And this is what I created. It was a dream. It was really a dream. So this is, oh, look at her, look at her. This is my Kelly 25 in cray color on the front and on the sides, trench color. I mean, it is just amazing. And this is the bag that comes in the hard leather. So it's in the Epsom leather in the style Cellier. So this is very stiff. It's going to stay strong, but on the other hand, it's not as flexible. So it depends what really you're looking for. Oh, and the hardware. The hardware is champagne. Look at this. It's my most precious bag. My baby girl. <laughs> to spice things up a little bit, I decided to change things. So I went for a mini Evelyn bag. How cute is this for every day? It is in the color Etoupe as well just because it works with everything, but the straps are blue, which is so cool. I think the combination between the two colors is just amazing. And you can wear it with everything. It's the perfect day bag. And the leather is so soft. It fits a lot. It doesn't scratch. It's just perfect. And my latest purchase that has been on my wish list for so long, and I finally got it exactly how I dreamt about it, is this Birkin 25. Of course, again, in the color Etoupe. I have a problem with neutral colors. I just realized, looking at all the bags, that most of them are neutral colors. I really have to spice things up and start buying crazy colors. Because all of them are just the same. Etoupe, Etain, you know? <laughs> wow. Anyway, Birkin 25 in gold hardware in the togo leather it smells still smells like new i absolutely love it and the birkin 25 bags are super trendy right now and extremely hard to get i mean all of them are hard to get you cannot just like go into an hermes store and be like oh hi hello i would like to buy a birkin bag they'll just be like yeah you and the rest of these people wait in line it's not gonna happen so the excitement these bags gives us girls i don't know it's i feel like makes you feel like you, you have an achievement, you know, like, yes, wow, I managed to get one, especially when you get them in the store, because you can also just purchase them on the second hand or like other personal shoppers for like double the price. But here in the store, the feeling is different. Anyway, so Hermes bag number 10. Bag number 11 is this Kelly bag in size 28, gold hardware, Epsom leather, Celia style that I purchased in Paris. It's my first bag from Paris store and it was during COVID. There was no one in the store. And the last bag is this beautiful Constance, mini Constance bag. And of course, the color Etain. What am I going to do with all these neutral colors? They're so beautiful, but... I definitely have to try some colors and it's my first and my only Constance. I must tell you that I really, really love it. It is a bag that works with everything. It's super good for every day with gold hardware. I hope you guys enjoyed my personal collection of Hermes bags. I want to tell you what I have on my wish list. So next is a mini Kelly and a Kelly pochette. And then, you know, after that, I feel like I'm just going to start wanting different colors and different sizes. But for now, as you can see, 
in my collection. I'm missing a mini Kelly and I'm missing a Kelly pochette. I love these bags and if you also do share this passion for Hermes bags and for fashion and for traveling, do subscribe to my channel and let's grow this YouTube community together. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, well, thumbs down or just do nothing at all. And uh, let me know which one of my bags is your favorite. I'm so curious which one of these 12 bags is your favorite Hermes bag. I hope you guys are going to have an amazing day and a great rest of your week. Goodbye, guys.